All you handsome MCs, especially London and Detroit, walk down the hallway. <laughs> they don't want you to hear what we about to say about y'all, man. You gotta go down the hall. We about to diss the shit out of all y'all. We about to diss y'all right now. Hey, yo, check this out. Them Detroit dudes. Hey. Yo, I don't even know about them motherfuckers. Man. I'm not even sure how they got in. Did they pay somebody? And where's my cut? Well, MC Source Magazine. We're number one or something. Josh from Australia, engineer producer. Huh? Chase Smooth from the Underground Railroad, LDoctrine.com. What's good? This is Pumpkinhead, aka Rosewood, repping the play, fuck your life, street grind all day. <laughs> Alright, the logic, illustrated logic, the freeze frame beast, out of North Jersey. Alright? What's good? Like DJ Hayes, like Wall Street, street grind, you know how I do. Stamina, pause. <laughs> Stamina and lots of punchlines. Consistency. Uh, consistency. They gotta stay consistent. Yeah. And yeah, cohesiveness the between the cohesiveness between the teams. You know what I mean? That's big. That's big. No homo. That's 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 big. They gotta they gotta look like they actually like working together as a unit and and balanced. Like if one is as good as the other, that's and it's flowing like a song. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I'm talking about. No hiccups. No stumbling at this point. No stuttering. The bastard stutter, that's it. That's right. <laughs> a real consistency. Like everybody up to this point is dope. That's why they're up to this point. So if they can maintain, it should be number five words. Witty lines? You know, original lines. I, I say, like like they said, witty lines, whether it be about, you know, what you look like, who you look like, but something new, you know what I'm saying? Like, nothing old, no reused lines over and over again. There's been a lot of, there's been a lot of repeating lines, these battles, and it's kind of like, it, it gets on my nerves, man. Like, just move on to something else, you know? You gotta keep, re not recycle, don't recycle, but just renew your shit. Do you use something else, say something else. Basically, something that's more specific about the person than you're gay, I had sex with your girl. Yeah, like something yeah, something yeah, that's yeah. personal and relates, I'm impressed. No more gay jokes, man. I like to see a rap with no gay jokes. All I, hear, all I hear is, you're gay. Yeah, this man, cool. you're gay. I'm like, okay, all right. Yeah, well, he's gay. Yeah, he said he's gay. Yeah, let's gay, let's yeah. just move on to something else, please. Like, <laughs> you know what kills me? And no one big head and nose jokes. You're gay. But I had sex with your girl. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Or your mother. So like, I put right. your girl, but somehow you're gay. <laughs> How do you have a girl? But that's me thinking too much, so don't pay that no attention. <laughs> Nobody pays attention to that. It just cracks me up every time. Like, you're gay, but I've been phoning your girl all night long. <laughs> and she loved it. <laughs> it's you're like a the <laughs> you're a faggot. I don't know how you have a girl, why you have a girl, and you're so outwardly gay. I mean, we know, we know, like, if battles, like, you know, okay, you're gonna say you're gay, you're a faggot, you're a homo, you're bisexual, you're transgender. It's just too cliche, though, man. You know what's, come on. You know what's dope? You know what's dope that I'm, I'm like, seeing from the, the dude so far is, like, the specifics. It's not even, it's, it's, it's taking, it's saying you're gay, but it's, like, Beyond that shit, yeah, like going there's there's semen in your underwear, like you yeah. know what I mean, and it ain't yours, and you know what I mean, like yeah. there's shit on your dick. Or, or, or you're looking at us because you want to fuck us, like don't don't even say that though, like I don't want to hear that. Like, like, that's that's a little too. Like, yeah. Look, you've been looking at us all night, yeah. like you want to fuck us. Like, like, you know like, what that looks like. How do you know what this dude was like? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you must have took a, a couple of trips around the show. Like, and then what's worse because you fuck around as a, as a battler, you get called on that shit. Yeah. Like he was like, "Yo, you got shit stains in your body, and you you shaved your rectum or something." The dude was like, "How the fuck do you know, know I shaved exactly. my rectum?" Yeah, exactly. It was like, "Oh." Hey, oh, hey, hey. how do you and, know that? Let's, let's not have we no, need some more chicks around. No, no, more, <laughs> no more comparisons on what you look like if they don't look like that. Right. Please. Word. Not just because you and that dude. I heard somebody get called Chinese, Chinese and they were being Chinese. Yeah, who was it? I was like, what the fuck? Like, it's crazy. Yeah, you look like Whoopi Goldberg and dude is like white with a Caesar and shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, you and, you're doing the Superman. And it was like, yo, we're from Houston. Yeah, <laughs> we're like, yeah. we're, we've never seen that dude before. Like, dude, uh, Soldier Boy is not from Houston, uh, so like, why are you saying yeah? Like, like Tony you know, Blair is. Dude, we and don't they were like, about, we and don't they're from them. Texas, so their favorite rapper is David Banner. David Banner is from Mississippi, not from Texas. Like, those are good points, you know what I'm saying? It's not that we're trying to clown the MCs that said those lines, but you got to think about it before you say it, you know what I'm saying? You got to be real quick. Or at you know least, if, if that's what you're going to do, be prepared to get called on it. Because they, you know what I mean? Everybody in this thing is sharks. If you say that shit, you leave yourself wide open for a crazy rebuttal that just smashes her and, yo, he's bolder than me, and then he takes the hat off and he's got a head full of hair. And yeah, exactly, right, right. Right. Say, if you know you're getting into a battle and you know who's going to be in the battle, just fucking prepare. If you gotta pre-write shit in your head and you know mix it with freestyle, do it. You know what I'm saying? Like I I've been in many battles where, like say for instance in, in, in the Blaze battle, I battled Breeze. Me and him were toe to toe, both spitting wrist writings. You know what I'm saying at each other, and then he ended his last written with a freestyle, and that took the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be smart about it. You gotta mix your shit together. You know? I mean, basically do whatever works. You know what I mean? Like, if these dudes know all your Achilles heels, if you can freestyle, you can come back with it. If you stuck on ratings and he says some shit, and then the, your next reply has nothing to do with what he just said. It's like an L. Mm. That you don't even look, you don't even look right. clean after that. So just, I think freestyling is definitely better, a better yes. look. Especially Very with important. these dudes. Yeah. Everybody in there is like going off the top and you know, you look like this, you I mean, look like and that. You'd be surprised how like that whole freestyling shit is, is, is gone into the commercial rap nowadays. A lot of commercial rappers are freestyling right in the studio, yeah. right there, you know, so. Yeah, but that shit is cool. <laughs> but hey, they need to bring that to that level, you know what I'm saying? True. Bring the freestyling with some good raps to commercial level, you know True. what I'm saying? But yeah, in a battle, I would say freestyling is, is It's critical. Yeah. Yeah. It's the yeah, whole point. You gotta know how to freestyle. Yeah, you gotta have a well rounded If you don't know how to freestyle at all, then you're, you're a rapper. The underground is supposed to be better. So. Yeah, you're a rap if you don't know how to freestyle. As far as I'm concerned.